Think about when we're hurt. There's different levels of hurt. Some hurts are light and some hurts are really hurt. But within that then there can be the struggle, the, the, the struggle, the, the suffering within it, the fight within it. And the struggle can be a low struggle. They struggle a bit more, struggle a bit more, and they're struggling all the way. So now that field of struggle is has a range. So there's our little struggles, and then more, 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 and there's our, the big struggles. So that's the field of charge. That's the, the charge where it's like we, we brace in the body. Uh, we emotionally brace in a feeling, um, or we brace in our mind, and um, we can bullishly try to be a particular way. We're, we're bracing. That's engaging with the field of charge. And that's what Paul's asking. Uh, yeah, I'm saying the same thing. You, 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 what I just described, Paul, describes how to disengage from the charge, to, to, to drop the charge. Let me explain it this way. So everybody gets the, the, the field of charge, yeah? So now think about this. On a scale of one, which is a small charge, two, three, how many do you have? And again, some of you might say a lot. Some of you might say, oh, not that much. Generally, it, it, it can be quite a lot for most people. And what I mean by that is think about all the rooms in your life. Think about all the people in your life. Think about all the situations in your life. And then think about all the little things in those rooms, those people and those situations that bother you, that get in your nerves, that just, <laughs> that you just, you just, it just <clears throat> bothers you. So all those little things, there'd be lots of little things, but as you go up to four and five, a little less, but they bother you more. You hit six or seven, there's a little less, but they really piss you off. By the time you're up at seven, eight and nine, there's even less, but those things aren't funny. Those things you're super serious about. It's like the, the, these are the things that I'm really struggling with. There's not many, but they take a lot of effort to, to deal with them. So you've got your, 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 your range uh, in the charge, okay? So now think about, uh, think about a charge of three. So the range of three, one, two, three. So in the range of three, the field of three, think of it like a field, the field of three in the room, people, situations, is imagine you could see them all as a field and each thing that bothered you was like a little dot. So you got all these dots in the, the charge of three in the field is recognize that that charge is the same for all of them. So you may have 50 things in that field that bother you, whatever it is, whatever the number is, but the charge, the irritation, the annoyance, the frustration that you feel is the same for all of them. All these different things, same charge, same reaction. You get it? Now, you could go around and you could try and fight and tackle each one of those charges. And you'd bloody exhaust yourself. You'd gone around all day, struggling with them all. You'd just be distracting. What would happen if you come into your center, physically, energetically, mentally, and that you began to drop the charge of three? Not all the things, you don't focus on all the things that are in the field, you focus on the field itself. And you get to a level within yourself where you can drop the charge of three in the field. You can drop the field of three itself. So here's the field of three, all the 50 dots. When you drop the, the field, what happens to all the dots? They all fall out. They all, they all drop out of the field because you're not resisting them anymore. You're not feeding them your energy. You're not, you're not paying attention to them because you've dropped the field. So now, and we talked about intuitively, spontaneously being in yourself, you're going about your day in the different rooms, different people, different situations. And people are doing things, situations are creating things where you normally get annoyed, it's your field of three, you normally get annoyed, but because you're not feeding that charge, your response is different than it normally would be. You create a new response rather than have the old reaction is you actually respond more differently. So when somebody does something or says something or the situation creates an annoyance, you find yourself staying calmer. 
you find yourself communicating more clearly. You find yourself being more adaptable because you're more grounded in yourself. Your energy is rising, you're lighter in yourself, so that allows you to see more options. It doesn't feel so heavy. And because of your flexibility in yourself, that gives you more space, that gives you more choices, a physical level, energetic, emotional level, at a mental level. It is your drawing on yourself and the power of yourself to become far more adaptable in those situations. And spontaneously, solutions come to you that you might not have thought of before or done before because you've dropped the field of three. And all those dots that fall out, they just drop out. So it's a much more direct approach to focus on one area and then make that area your center and then work from there rather than trying to deal with everything in separation. Because then it's like dealing with a hundred different problems and fighting a hundred different battles. It's exhausting. Is place yourself in your center and that's where you work from. And then you begin to control the field. Does everybody understand? It's very powerful. It's the difference between linear growth and exponential growth. Linear growth is dealing with one thing at a time. Exponential growth is dealing with many things at a time. Many things at a time. Now, back to your center. And the question I have for you is, now after this conversation, how important is it to stay centered? How important is it to stay in your center of gravity? Think about these small little things, but the greater, the greater meaning of them, the deeper meaning of them, and how much power is in it. The same with your breath, a little bit of breath awareness, is just coming into that pace and connection, and then slowing the pace of your thoughts and shifting from emphasizing your thoughts to emphasizing your awareness and just grounding yourself into that space more and more and more. And everything I described is will unfold as you go along.